Hey guys, it's Demo, and um, this is my new build that I'm going to be building for uh, the 100 mile an hour um, challenge. I'm going to try to go between 110 and 120 with uh, 4S. So, so I went and took this out for a test flight yesterday, and I had something really weird happen. Now, don't worry, this is not crashed. It's just uh, taken apart. Uh, I didn't have any crashes besides when the Phantom owner turned on his quad right next to me and uh, blew me out of the air. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story, but, um, but so I, I was flying this around and you guys are going to see a video of this in just a second. And, and I was getting fail safes and I've never had a fail safe with, um, the lemon RXs. I've flown them really far and I just have this in a new frame. And this is basically all the parts that were taken over from an MRM Reaper onto this frame, uh, not including the motors. Of course, the motors are what I'm testing here. Um, so I was really perplexed to why this thing was fail-safing, and I would, in one flight, fail-safed about three times or so, or what I thought was a fail-safe. So I'm going to tell you guys what actually happened. So uh, so I did the first flight, and I was like, wow, this is really weird. So I put another battery into it. I thought, you know, I will just kind of fly it around and see what would happen. I got one fail-safe, and... Um, it was very perplexing. I could have swore it was a failsafe, but it wasn't a failsafe. It was actually, it was actually my power cable. Um, because this was a fairly short lead, you can see that this uh, positive lead is really, really short. That's because it, there was a break in this line right here. You won't be able to see it, but um, basically there was just a leftover nub left on my board. And this, so basically it was making intermittent contact. I think there was just probably a few strands of hairs that was conducting uh, power through my board, which is pretty crazy. So basically, I'd be flying up, and then it would lose contact, and it would just, it would just, it would fail, it wouldn't fail safe, but it would just stop having control for a second, and then I would keep flying. And why my video didn't cut out is very, very strange. It may have been because I had one of these caps on the board. I don't exactly know how these work, but but that may be the reason why my video did not cut out. It might have had a little extra stored energy in there. So, uh, needless to say, I'm gonna put a new battery lead on there. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. So this lead was uh, probably plugged into about at least a hundred times. I've had at least a hundred flights on this thing. So I would I would always have to take the the um, the cable. I would always have to twist it a little bit to get the uh, the battery plugged in. So I'm gonna make these leads a little bit longer, not quite as long as this, but. All right, so <clears throat> if you guys want to see what uh, losing power midway through your flight and really being uh, confused is, here it is. I went up there, I was at the trees, it just it stayed, it was locked in, I couldn't control it, couldn't control it, and all of a sudden it just came back. Really weird. But you, you had video all the time, right? Yep, yeah, I had video the whole so time. So you couldn't have lost power, it sounds like more like a... Like a... Like a flight controller. I think it was... I think it was... Um, I have a feeling it was... Uh, it lost signal, but I've never lost signal with this, this before. And especially not over... Especially not just over at the trees. 
Okay, and now I'm just going to do a, a quick solder up on here. I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. Okay guys, I'm done soldering the new connector and I also had the uh, cap that I have in here. I'm just going to do a little close up here so you guys can see what I have going on. Get that out of the way. So you can see right in there I have the cap soldered in place. So it's hard to see. Sorry guys. Maybe I go like that a little bit. So anyway, you can see the cap and also this is the line that going to my run cam for the uh, VBAT sensor on the uh, camera. So that's pretty cool. That's on the positive line. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get this thing up and running pretty soon. I'm going to do some test runs. Uh, and just to reiterate, guys, um, this is why you do checks and checks and checks and checks before you actually go for a 100-mile-an-hour run. Or, for that matter, in any airplane or quad, you have to test, test, test first. You have to be safe. This is a dangerous weapon if you um, hit it into somebody or if you had a fail-safe or a power failure at the wrong time. So you want to be really, really careful, and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, so anyway, guys... Thanks for joining me for that video, and I'm done for the day. Thank you so much. Bye.